What am I in? Third? Second? Uh, he's gonna get first. He's gonna get second this time. Oh! Hi, Piggy's back at it again, this time with a 200 gigabyte. They just released a 128 not too long ago, and uh, they made some fixes. People, you know, were like, hey, this wasn't working, this wasn't working. I have to say they did work. The Sega Saturn with the Xbox 360 controller works out of the box now. That was an issue for me. And then the PC FX, all these games boot now. And then they added a bunch more systems. We're over uh, 10,000 titles now and some additional systems. So this thing is looking beautiful. It's getting better and better. And as they admitted, you know, you still might find mistakes in it and they're still gonna, you know, potentially do maybe a 256 gigabyte. But with all that said, let's go ahead and dive into this one. And, you know, as you guys check it out, you can comment here or send them something and uh, we'll make the Odroid XU4 Team ORA RetroPie build uh, even better than it already is. All right, Pi Piggy's dropping a 200 gigabyte Odroid XU4 image. This is running the Team ORA 1.5.2 version of RetroPie ported over to the Odroid XU4, which is much more powerful than the Raspberry Pi. And you'll see that in Nintendo 64, 3DO, uh, Dreamcast performance, just way, way more smoother, better, and a Cody as well. And uh, now that we have it for... We have the RetroPie front end. It's just so much easier than some of the other uh, base images out for for this machine. So uh, if you can get an Odroid, get your hands on one. You know this is a killer image. Um, a lot of it has to do with Team ORA having updating their uh, Pi, their RetroPie. Now it has more controller configuration, more scripts, more stability. Um, I kind of like this theme better, so I'm going to go ahead and rock this for the remainder of the video. But uh, this one has 12,560. If you have the 128 gigabyte that they released earlier, it's not a huge difference. They fixed the PCFX games, which are having a problem loading, the Sega Saturn controls, and a few other fixes. So I'm interested in checking this out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just start with playing some games that you know have a little bit less performance on the Raspberry Pi. Um, if you missed it, my last video I already played, 007 Goldeneye. That's a classic. And, um, you know, that I think another one that is worth trying is Killer Instinct. This game does not run well on the Raspberry Pi at all. And um, I th it should run decent. Let's check it out. Uh, you can change emulators and change settings by tapping A on your controller, on loading. Ooh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> so that's running really good. So it plays Killer Instinct no problem whatsoever. Uh, you saw that, you know, typically with those combos, you see a little slowdown. I mean, it was very marginal at best. Um,. You know, I can't play some of these other games because of Nintendo. Is that right, little Nick? Tell him what's up. And um, what else should we try? Uh, Pod Racer runs pretty good on the Pi. I think Super Smash Brothers is another game that doesn't run perfect on the Pi, especially during that Yoshi level. So let's go ahead and check that out. Oh! Oh! 
All right, so you saw very little lag there. But you'll see once, now that there's four players on the screen, look how well this is running. Come on, turn around. There you go. My analog stick is just giving me a, a hassle. What's in the box? Let's get this laser. Pew! Kid. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Pika! <laughs> almost lost that one all right I'm, I'm select starting out of there so you 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 see the um you see the difference here how well that how well that plays um another game i played this on the last one was gran turismo but um some of these psp games you can play up to 3x uh no issues whatsoever uh let's go ahead and try wipe out and uh which is again the extra CPU GPU power really goes a long way with these higher graphics games, but you're still going to be able to play Mario and all your favorite SNES and NES games on here just fine as well. Ran right into that one, didn't I? Okay, now I got something else. I think that's shield. Shield. Yep. Maybe I should have wait, waited to use that till the end. Missile. All right, this time I got a missile. Disruption. Dang for the finish. Oh, I missed that. That might be bad. Got him. So 2x, no problem at all there. Dropped a few frames, but nothing to get upset about. So let's race again. This time we're going to go up to 3x. Okay, and you can see this is where the computer is not liking it. But it looks gorgeous, as you see now. So, so far, not a lot of lag. It might seem like it's just I haven't gone up to speed yet. Wow, it looks gorgeous now, though. You have to admit. Okay, I just did not take that corner like I wanted to. Look at that shield. Putting that shield on just the right time. You guys are playing dirty now. Ooh. What's this one do? Autopilot. The autopilot's an interesting power up. Come on. Come on. Is that a shield I have on? Okay, so the multicolor one gives you some kind of ooh power up. Okay, 
and then those speed you up. Rocket launcher. Alright. Um, might as well tap this out, right? And just see what happens when you hit 4x. This looks ugh, even better, as it should, I know, but it's just like, looks really good. All right, so there's a little bit of lag here. See, as we come to the stadium, a lot of lag, see that? So when the screen, when it pans out and you have a, a lot of things on the screen, you get really bad lag here, really bad. It should get better once I go in this tunnel here. Look at that, and now it's back. Um, but uh, that's that's how it runs. So 3x, 3x on this game, and a lot of games, 2x on some more hardcore games with like significant, you know, graphics. Like um, one of those games is God of War, is really intensive on the on the requirements. Nice. What am I in third? Second? Uh, he's gonna get for he's gonna get second this time. Oh! Look at that clutch victory. So I hit the Xbox 360 button and then I can exit out of PPSS P PPSSPP and we're good. So what do we got on here? We have MSX 439, MSX 283, N64 189, Naomi. These games are awesome, by the way. They look great. I reviewed it my last one. You got 57. Nintendo DS 111, Neo Geo, all of them 136. Nintendo 730, PC Engine CD-ROM. You got about 10. PC Engine 193, PC FX. Now they're all working here. Get to play those ports. You got a lot of little games here. You know, like Open Fodder, Quake, some Zelda hacks, PSP. We have 17 P PSP Minis, 250, PlayStation 20. So here's your PlayStation games in case you're wondering. PlayStation runs good on the Pi and this. So Sega Saturn, they said the controls are fixed. I'll try it in a moment. Scum VM, 53. Sega 32X, 33. Sega CD, 9. Super Famicom, 363. SG-1000, 68. Super Nintendo, 567. Super Graphics, 5. Turbo Graphics, 16. Vetrix, 23. Video Pack, 52. Virtual Boy, 24. Wonder Swan Color, 10. Um, this is the Sharp X1, I believe. You got 17 games there. The 68,000 Sharp, 387. Infocom, you got the Zorks. ZX Sinclair 1,113, 3D08, Amiga, so he loaded up on the Amiga on this one, 1,591, Amstrad 211, Arcade total 2,187, uh, Atari 2,600, 650, 5,281, 7,858, Atari 800, 335, Atari Lynx 76, um, <clears throat> some more Naomi style games, 19, Coleco, Vision 116, Daphne 78, this is not looking Looks like they just dumped those on there. Um, 37 uh, Dreamcast games. And Dreamcast runs well on the Odroid. Family Computer Disk System 87, Game & Watch 54, Game Gear 49, Game Boy 167, Game Boy Advance 194, Game Boy Color 377, Intellivision 121, Cody, Sega Master System 263, Mega Drive 514, Mega Drive for uh, Japan 179, MSX 439, MSX 283. So a few more systems were actually added, a few fixes, controllers working really good. Um, if you want to see 3DO performance, I did that in the previous video, and I've done uh, Dreamcast performance in previous videos as well. So if you want to see those, just go on my channel and type Odroid Dreamcast or Odroid 3DO, and you should find those. And then uh, Sega Saturn, Die Hard Arcade has got to be an amazing game. I mean, what a game. It is actually playing pretty good. What a game, what a game, what a...
Look at that double double kick. I got the broom. Oh, come on. Look at those 3D graphics. Pick up the gun, dude. What? In my little roundhouse with my uh Oh can I switch? Yeah, here we go. How's she taking these in that many bullets to the head? Oh, I was sh showing the frames, and that failed. I mean, it's running pretty good. Sound sounds pretty good. Damn, look at that DM right there. Oh, trying to jump over that didn't work. I kind of can't land one of these kicks on him. There we go. There we go. That's running really good, actually. Cool. So, let's exit out of here. So there you have it, Pi Piggy's 200 gigabyte over 10,000 titles. I mean, it's gotta be close to 30 systems. Um, a lot of a lot of just, you know, ROM packs here where, you know, they just took the whole collection. But like Game Boy Advance, they only took 100 games. Nintendo DS, only 100 games. Um, but like with Nintendo, some other things, just threw them all on there. Um, and then when it came to like PlayStation, PSP, there were select games, I showed you all those. Same with Sega Saturn. Um, there's still some cool scum BMs and some um, you know cl classic games, some collector games that aren't on a lot of systems like the 3DO and the Naomi, um, the Atari 800. So there are some systems here, Daphne, that you don't see on every single image. So with all that said, it's got a nice uh, you know canvas of doing a lot of different systems. So um, one of those images that does a lot, you know, it's trying to do a lot, a lot of things for everyone. And uh, I think some people will like that. Some people might be turned off. Um, if you want a specific one, you can always start with this and then just start deleting stuff that you don't want. Or even better, you can start, like I mentioned in the last video, with a Team ORA base image and just build your own. Um, as we see here, though, it's got theme support, controller support, systems that don't run very well on the Pi, for example, Nintendo 64, Dreamcast, and uh, Sega Saturn running here, as you saw on a stock Odroid XU4, no overclock, just standard stuff it's in the nintendo 64 case um i don't have any additional cooling on it and it runs just great occasionally the fan will you know speed up when it, when you've been gaming for a while but that's why um you have the fan on there is it keeps it cool um so that's about it um a on my side you know i think we need more odroid images i'm getting excited that more people are working on them 
and uh, with with the way they're going, the small form factor and the increased performance over the Pi, and then now that we're getting all the same type of functionality that you would get with a Retro Pi for the Raspberry Pi, this is great. Um, when I post videos like this, people are like, well, what about the Pi? You know, I don't see the Pi going anywhere. It still is, um, you know, it is an increase in price um, to get the Odroid over the Raspberry Pi when it's all said and done. So, um, you know, I think the price conscious people are still going to go for the Pi. The other thing with the Pi is it plays, you know, everything below Nintendo 64. So it's still a ton of retro gaming goodness there. Um, this just gives you a little bit more as far as potential with it. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.